Welcome to video number four of the Getting Started series for this math studio. In here, we're going to present the insert menu, part two, where we're going to be looking at the insertion of a background picture, header and future, and footer, sorry, and any picture. And so, for that purpose, we're going to start with this file, which I'm going to increase to by 25%. And I have the insert menu, and we're going to talk about these three. Insert background, insert header, and insert footer, and insert a picture. I'm going to create a new file, a new page. And I'm going to go and say insert background. And it says for all pages range, for which range you want to insert that background, you can do it for all pages or for the current page. This uh, I have only one page at this point, so it won't make any difference, but let's just do all and then background image or no or no background well if you have no background that's the default value so we go for background image and then we're going to browse our image and i have this particular one that i have selected and then this is the one the way it's going to show in the page if you say okay then you get that background picture background means that you can type over it so if, if you want to write an equation here for some reason and say um, S, um, sorry, S um, column 4.5, and then down below say S square space bar plus one equals, then it will remain in there. If we go back to the insert background, we could we, we could uh, in in the background image we could say full page. And it will tend to fill the 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 page across the uh, across the width of the page. If we do fit stretch, it will fill it up. If we say fill, it will try to fill the the page in this manner. So it's it's a different ways to look at your picture. Let's say do it that way, then you have a nice background for your page. Um, so we have that one page in here. I'm going to click down below here and press Enter, which forces us to open another page. Since we included the background in all pages, we're going to see it in every page. Let's go back here and say Insert Background and change to Current Page Only. And because we have inserted in all, we're still showing that background in here. But if we had said at from the beginning only the first page, then we wouldn't be seeing that one. That is regarding the background. Now, I'm going to create a new file, new page, sorry, and then go to insert, header, and footer. The header is simply this region over here, as you can see there. You can type anything like you want, like if you want to give this document a title that's going to show in every page, and say my first document. That will be fine if we go here and say insert field that we were looking at in the past and say, well, current current page index. Okay. So now I'm going to click inside the page, go to the bottom, click in there, press enter to generate a new page. And as you can see there in the header, I have my first document number two. If I go here and I say insert header and footer and select footer, it will, it will select both of them, but you can go work on this separately and you say um, copyright me. So that shows up in here, it should show up in the first page too, yeah. And so that's the way that if you want to put some characters in your header and footer, they're going to show in every page in your document, then you can proceed that way. I'm going to go back to my original, the third one is inserting a picture. So let's go and create a new file. And suppose you're going to be writing an assignment in, uh, in, in your lab. And you happen to have a figure that you want to insert as the heading or, or at the top of your page. So, you know, I click in here and then you go to insert picture. You can create a picture, but the 
the, the painting tools are very limited, just basically lines. And so that's all you can do with it, just create lines. There is no color filling or anything else, it's just lines. So that's one way to do it. If you say insert picture and you say from file, then you got to have a picture. And I have this particular picture for a lab heading. And then it shows up off the page. What you want to do is you select, drag and select, and then drag it back into the middle. And this could be like a, um, a heading for your, um, for your document. Suppose that you select this and do a delete to clear up. Then select this one and drag it up. And then you can put your name in here uh, using uh, text. Let's, let's do a uh, double quote and say, uh, my name is Albert Einstein. Okay, I'm going to increase the number to like a 20. Select and drag it and put it on top of here. And then you have a nice heading for your file. And this is the idea then that I wanted to present regarding the um, insert uh, edit, I'm sorry, the insert menu for these three particular uh, operations, insert background, insert header and footer, and insert picture. And with this, we conclude this particular video.